Hello, my friends. Today, in honor of Easter coming up, I wanted to share some Baha'i perspectives on Easter and the resurrection of Christ. And I'm going to be using this book, Some Answered Questions, by Abdul Baha as my source. So, Abdul Baha is right out asked this question about the resurrection and the meaning of it. And he says, these things, when we talk about the body of a manifestation, it is often spiritual. The body of Christ is his teachings and his parables. And just to highlight how there's often this sort of dual reference, even in the gospel, for example, many, many times it is referenced that Jesus came from heaven. Christ came from heaven, the Son of Man is in heaven, and yet it is fully recognized that when Christ appeared on earth, he didn't come down from the sky, he was born of the womb of Mary. So he actually came from the womb of Mary, but he came from heaven in a spiritual sense. God sent him, but he came through his mother. Right? And this is fully, fully acknowledged. And even though there is this, it's fully recognized, even though there's this dual reality in the language that is used in the gospel. So Abdu'l Baha says it is the same with the resurrection. So to put it in my own words, and then I'll read some of it Christ's body is his teachings and everything that he lived and died for the church, so to speak, like the body of his mission. Christ's body is his mission. And when he was executed, as you can imagine, his followers were full of great fear, let alone sadness, but, you know, they thought they had lost. And for two or three days, Abdul Baha says, his apostles, his followers, were silenced. And so everything that Christ taught, everything that he came to give the world, all of his teachings and parables, his mission, was as dead because his apostles were silenced out of fear. And again, you can imagine like what that would be like to um, have witnessed the execution of your Lord and how afraid you would be and devastated. And then Mary said, hey, you guys, this is what Christ lived and died for. Like we now are the bearers of his teachings. And so his body of teachings was resurrected two or three days later his body rose and and now you see how tremendously the world was changed from this small band of believers and now you know Christianity is the most powerful faith um, the most widespread you know faith so it's pretty amazing. Let's see if there's some excerpts for me to read. We say that the meaning of Christ's resurrection is as follows. The disciples were troubled and agitated after the martyrdom of Christ. The reality of Christ, which signifies his teachings, his bounties, his perfections, and his spiritual power, was hidden and concealed for two or three days after his martyrdom and was not resplendent and manifest. Nor rather, it was lost for the believers were few in number and were troubled and agitated. The cause of Christ was like a lifeless body. And when after three days the disciples became assured and steadfast and began to serve the cause of Christ, and resolved to spread the divine teachings, putting his counsels into practice, and arising to serve him, 
the reality of Christ became resplendent and his bounty appeared. His religion found life. His teachings and his admonitions became evident and visible. In other words, the cause of Christ was like a lifeless body until the life and the bounty of the Holy Spirit surrounded it. So that is an excerpt from Some Answered Questions and a Baha'i Perspective on the meaning of Easter and on the resurrection. And if you like this video, I'm thinking about doing some more Christian topics from the Baha'i Perspective. So definitely let me know if that interests you. All right, I wish you a wonderful holiday and I'll catch you next time. And until then, I wish you the best for playing your part in making the world a better place. Bye-bye.